There was no need for that kind of hostility. Yeah, that was true. Really, uh, true, true. true. Uh, save it We're for the friends game. here. Save <laughs> All right. I'm hoping for the best. Have you, Dan, have you been playing Call of Duty at all? Or what exactly do you play? I uh, I haven't been able to catch into one of your streams if you have streamed yet. But what, what do you play? Tell me that. Dropping in hot. All right, here we go. Let's do it up. I'm sitting in the back, and that's cool with me. Respect the rules. stream since last week mainly apex at the moment but i do class myself as variety okay gotcha gotcha yeah same here for variety aspect damn usually shooters and rpgs hey you nice in here please missed that Got blown back. Spawn on my teammate. If he's outside, I can use my launcher again. There he is. Get him in the back. Ugh, really, I missed. Oh my god. Okay. I need to quit. All right, uh, is there any games coming out that you're looking forward to at all? Like big games, little games, whatever, whether I've heard of it or not. Ah, uh, he's pulling the thing. I was doing that the last time I played Ground War. Wow, we lost a. You're actually about to lose B too. Really? Oh my god. Damn. Best training next week, maybe Pokemon the week after if I can afford to switch. I understand that. See, my thing is, I ha so I have a switch, but my thing is I can't afford to switch games because they're all that Nintendo tax is something else man that is some crazy stuff as much as I would love to play all the Nintendo games even though switch is probably my least preferred like platform um, I have one and there's I save it for special games but the games never drop in price, like, ever. And that kills me, because I, I don't get the chance to play as many. But, that's a trade-off, I guess. They make their money on their dedicated people. Death Stranding, I really, really, really do want to play it. But I think right now, I'm, I'm going to hold on personally until, uh, until it drops on PC. Yeah, my game store still sells them for full price. Exactly. Oh my god. He he got us all because he threw a Molotov in from and it, it hit one of their uh, crates. Alright, I'm going for B. Oh 
run in there and there's two people right on it. What? Spawn in. What kind of spawn was that? Actually, what? Oh my gosh. I don't know why I threw this smoke because I feel like that's... I'm not on my game today. Alright, let's uh, try to get in there. Get in the mood. I didn't mean to spawn all the way over here, but that's alright at this rate. Bro, oh my gosh! Hi, our Claymore says big an issue as I've heard. Possibly. Uh partial Yeah, it depends. I don't feel like I die as often from a Claymore personally. But I mean, I feel like they're honestly I feel like they're probably on the same level as every other Call of Duty. Also, what's up, Fatality? How you doing? Um There's some I mean you get those games where they are. Uh, a big issue when you get those other games where it's like I, I personally haven't I can't tell you the last time I did see one but then again just from looking at the key f the uh, the kill feed I literally just saw somebody die from the claymore so maybe that answers the question too I, I really don't think they're any worse than Call of Duty's before though I mean, there's one right there. Alright. I, I honestly don't even know where to go right now. so much if I didn't get that. Damn. Rank 2. Do we unlock anything for it yet? Please. Something. A reflex scope. I'll take it. I'll take it. Graham's already picking up this month. Quite a few options coming out. Uh, so, I first thing I, I'll address is... Uh, Death Stranding, I would love to play it, but because they just announced the PC version, I'm going to hold off and play PC because I don't feel like paying for that game two times um, or even buying like the PS4. So that I'm holding off on for now. Um, other games, so I'm a EA Access Premier member. Because I see the value in that. If you buy more than two games a year by EA, you might as well subscribe. So, um, I will be playing on Tuesday. Uh, Need for Speed Heat will be coming out. So, I'll be playing that. And then, uh, of course, Jedi Fallen Order. That's coming out also. So, I'll definitely be playing that. Quite a, a good amount. Um... What else? Enemy UAV overhead. Enemy UAV. Oh, bro. Uh, I still need to finish Outer Worlds. I've I've literally only played 45 minutes of that game, but I've been playing a ton of Call of Duty since then. So I still need to play that. What else? Um. I think if there's any, oh, I'm pressing Q to spot things. Need for Speed coming out soon. That game is coming out quietly. It seems hope it's good. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like definitely the like the whole Need for Speed like nostalgia and all that has died off quite a, a good amount. So 
I've always been up to date with the Need for Speed games. I've always played them when they drop and then I usually stop. This one seems pretty promising so far. I really like the mechanics of it. I feel like it's more closely to Need for Speed, like underground games and things like that. So uh, the whole, uh, whatever it's called, the day and night cycle. Uh, well, there's not actually a day and night cycle, but the whole day and night uh, gameplay, how it changes and the cops get harder and things like that, it interests me. So I'm excited to play it. Uh, I'll be able to play that on Tuesday because we get access to EA games three days early. So that's my plan for Tuesday. Um, then, of course, the next week we have uh, Jedi Fallen Order. I don't think we get early access to that, which is kind of... I mean, I guess, whatever. But at the same time, that's one of the features that they advertise. So, just because it's a Star Wars game, I guess we won't be able to play it. But whatever. Um, I don't think anyone with the knowledge of spoilers even know any of it, what it means, typically Kojima. Hope you avoid all the spoilers of Death Stranding until PC. Yeah, uh, like honestly, I, I've i kind of gotten to the point, there's certain games I'm like, yeah, I don't want to know any, any spoilers. There's other games where I'm a lot less like caring. Like I could literally know, oh, he dies at the end of the game or something like that. It's not going to stop me from playing it or I'll be like, oh, that sucks. Like now I know the ending, but to be honest, it, it's not one of those games where I'm li literally like, oh, I, I have to know, or I, I can't know what happens until I play it. Um, that's really not one of those games for me that I care that much. I'm going to still try to avoid them, but like if I stumble across something, like that's different, you know? Like, I would have been upset if I read a read or, or saw like an Avengers spoiler when Endgame came out. But like Death Stranding, like, I don't think I would even be like sad. I would just be like, oh, that sucks. But that's okay. I'm kind of going in it into it with that um, like idea of it might be spoiled. I can hold off. For a while but at the same time it could drastically be spoiled and if it does it sucks but it's not the end of the world also um so i've been going back and forth between picking up <laughs> so I, at one point i was thinking about waiting until like december to get um red dead redemption 2 on pc but i love that game on xbox so much I just don't know which edition to get. So I bought it on Xbox at the Ultimate Edition, but they just announced, uh, well, they didn't officially announce, but in the Polygon article that came out, they said that there's no tr character transfer. So that means there's no character transfer. That means I didn't make a lot of progress in the online mode on Xbox, but I did buy the Ultimate Edition. So if I want the Ultimate Edition rewards, I have to rebuy the Ultimate Edition on PT, which I think is kind of dumb, but I haven't decided whether I'm going to actually buy that edition or just buy like a regular one yet. Yeah. Um, that comes out next Tuesday also, but I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'll, I might play some of that like off stream, uh, or I, I might play like Need for Speed, like get like two or three hours and then it might be like one of those games I switch to. So. Red Dead was one of those games that I was like, I don't want to know spoilers. Like that was one of those games where I said, I can't wait for a PC. Like as much as we all like practically knew it would come to PC at one point, I couldn't wait for that one. So I had to buy it at the time. Also, I saw your message, Dan. Sorry, I've just been rambling and also trying to see what's going on here. Um, people spoiling stuff is dumb, of course, but people also go nuts about spoilers. It's also uh, overreacting, in my opinion, because you can't avoid that stuff. Yeah, 
you pick and choose, you know, like I get it. People should not spoil things. And I kind of did have something spoiled for me for end game, but like, it's not going to stop me from playing. A game. Spoilers would never stop me from playing a game or stop me from seeing a movie or whatever, because it's still all about experiencing it for yourself. Like just because, I mean, I always said about lost, like, at this point, everybody knows that practically like 99% of the people die. I, from my understanding, never watched the show. I've literally watched two episodes, but I know practically every character dies by the end of the TV show. Um, except for very slight few who I can't really tell you, but I still would watch the show if I ever had the time. But Red Dead Redemption 2 is fantastic. I understand people not liking a slow pace, but it's exactly what I was hoping for. Dude, I am on the same exact level for that fatality. 100%. I loved every single second of it. I don't care how long it was. I wanted to spend more. Literally, the reason I stopped playing was because it was on Xbox. Because I didn't have it on PC, I was like, I don't want to do a second playthrough. I don't want to spend a ton of time in this world. I don't want to even try going for 100%. I was like, I'm just, all I'm going to do here we'll is play the base dish. story, play that, play a little bit of multiplayer when that dropped, and that was it. And that's all I did. And I was like, all right, I'm not going to touch this game. I'm not going to pick it back up. I'm not doing anything until it comes out on PC. Now, since it will be coming out PC, I didn't do a single side mission or a single uh, stranger mission. Or even sometimes I walk past those like random encounters that you got. So now that it is going to be dropping on PC, if I ever do, I feel like that would be a good game to play in like December. If I ever do play, replay the story, that's what I'll do. I'll play the stranger missions, I'll play the side missions, the random encounters, and the story all over again in obviously PC quality. So. Completely agree, man. Yeah, they. I've heard. I, I've seen a good amount of like, uh, like information about them. I guess like which ones to play, which ones to not. Because there were. I think there was like one or two that I did do, or like, uh, whenever there was like a crew member that was like, "Hey, come with me. I'll show you something new," uh, or like a, a gang member. I would do those. But like besides that, I was like, all right, I'm just gonna fast track this. I didn't spend an extra amount of time. That Red Dead Redemption is easily one of those games where you can spend over a hundred something hours in. But I, because it was on Xbox, I was like, I don't want to put too much time into this when it, it'll come out on PC and I can replay it then. Pretty sure I did every single one. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to, I definitely, it's not like I don't want to, and I will. Um, that's what I was wondering too, like when it does drop on the 5th, like am I going to start with multiplayer right away, or am I going to, to go to like, um, sorry. Don't do it. Wow. I uh, knew that was coming. I cannot wait to unlock that thing. There it is. Uh, let me swap these. Take that, especially for this mode. Uh, I'm wondering how Death Stranding is going to be. I'm hearing the game is long, but I don't know how 
they're gonna fill up a lot of the time i heard so i've been listening to kind of funny games daily literally every single day and i was also listening to their um games cast review of it i've heard that it is very long very long but not story but mainly that it's it's literally literally a walking simulator no way oh my god are they actually gonna get this if we don't capture something they're actually going to get that defcon nuke holy crap 29 seconds my dude we need to capture something all right i'm taking the apc all right good um some of you say giving it a 10 out of 10 some it's five yeah i've seen that also um mostly positive though i say a lot of it takes a long time to get into yeah i've heard i've heard that it can take like up to like 10 hours until you like actually decide okay yeah i enjoy this or no i hate this so i feel like the game is not, it's not one of those games that's like going to be critically like everyone is going to be like oh my god game of the year best game ever like it's going to be one of those games that's very it has its people that are 100 percent advocates and say e you got to play this and then it'll have other people that are like it was good but it wasn't the greatest you know it's unique and i think that's the best thing for it Yeah, I love the slow pace of a game. Um, one sec. Shoot. One sec. Sorry. Nice. Okay. So this is one of the best ways to rank up too. I seen him. Um. Shoot. I'm actually injured pretty bad. Boy. Nice. Ah! Oh my gosh. No way, dude. Oh no. Enemy, enemy, enemy. No, no. Damn. Um. Yeah, I love a slow place of the game, but in Red Dead Attention 2, it was well realized world that got me immersed in. Made me love it. But the Death Stranding world looks like it's very. You're isolated, so I guess it's, I'll try it myself. Yeah. Um. Other thing that I think is really cool, and I don't think that they really said it, or I mean, like most people know that there's some slight multiplayer features in Death Stranding, but um, from listening to kind of funny uh, games cast for Death Stranding, um, I think the aspects of like what. <laughs> that body just fell from the sky the aspects of the people who are playing it um, the community the world all of that is so cool to me like I love that so apparently there's like as you're traveling the world like you're literally a delivery man and when you connect these stations that you're going out to to connect um, after you connect them and get them online and everything like now you're uh you can see other equipment and other gear and messages left by other members that right there is so cool to me i absolutely love that jesus he just destroyed me um and i'm surprised that they didn't like share that a lot more than they did 
because apparently like after you get them connected like you start seeing like equipment left ladders over like a bridge for people to walk over you start seeing like uh batteries to recharge your your guy all types of materials like all these things that that sounds really cool to me game is isolated uh but i think it's part of the story yeah i agree imagine being a fucking delivery guy while you're surrounded by evil and supernatural shit yeah actually though Oh yeah, I'm intrigued by it all. No wonder Kojima is saying his new genre. It's difficult for me to imagine. Yeah, I, it's it's it is a crazy concept, but I think overall, like personally, I I typically align myself with. Uh, not sure if any of you guys watch like game ranks or things like that, but if you know how Jake Baldino, how he reviews games and, and things like that. Like, he always tries to, tries to find something good in a game. I am typically the same exact way, where, like, you can hand me any game ever, and, like, majority of the time, I'll find one thing or some things that I like in a game. And, like, it's very hard for me to actually, like, come out and say, like, this game's trash, I can't believe I played that nobody should pay for this nobody should play it like i'm so bad at at giving games like a even mediocre review because i still find something that i like in practically every game it's just obviously some more than others that's what it eventually comes down to that's kind of why i feel like i would never really be able to do like if 100% official reviews because I'm so like at some points I'm too positive but then people that are like overly negative about games I kind of hate that too because I, because my style is I always find one thing I like or like it's hard for me to find things for me to like discourage people not to play things that makes me like games even more sometimes. <laughs> Double kill. Uh. Oh my god, same. It's fine. It's usually hard to say a game is so bad. We all the same in here. I usually find something I enjoy. Oh god. Oh god. We get out of here. Uh. And don't trash a game ever. Yeah, like I, I have my complaints and things like that. Like, but I'm never like, oh, I'm never like, this game is trash. Like, I hate this. What is this? Like, I'm never that type of attitude ever. Personally, I don't like that because it doesn't. It's not constructive criticism. Like, if you don't like something of a game, say why or give a reason to it or, or something like that. You know. Which, luckily, a lot of people are, are more geared to, towards that nowadays, but, oh god, that was terrifying. But, I'm glad we're all about the same. I'm not sure, you guys seem pretty cool and everything with being in chat and all. So, like, if you, I don't know how many discords you guys are in. If you're like me, you're probably in a ton. But, like, if you guys ever want to have, like, personal conversations about these types of games, definitely join my Discord and, like, post games in there, like, reviews, anything at all. And, like, because I'm trying, that's what I'm trying to eventually build, obviously. Um, that kind of stuff where you can have those types of conversations, like, what you did like and what you didn't like, and, like, things like that. So, if you want, it's up to you. It's there exclamation point discord or um or just being in chat here oh, talking like this that works too either way i appreciate you guys for having uh some conversations here uh to be frank 
Your recent CODs have been trash multiplayer wise campaign still good though for me. Yeah, okay. So I'll be honest. The only game that like I don't I don't like saying the word trash. But the only game that I really, 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 really didn't like was Black Ops 4. I thought the value for that game was absolutely like unbelievable. I couldn't believe that that game was $60 for multiplayer mode and zombies. And on top of it, you had to pay even more money for the, uh, you still had to pay even more money for the multiplayer, um, expansions and all of that. I thought that was ridiculous. That was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in gaming. If you're gonna, re you've literally decreased the value of a game, but still charged more. Plus all the microtransactions and everything else did not help that at all. But, um, that's like my most hated game ever. Not, not most hated game, but most like, I did not see any more than like thirty dollars worth for that game. I got I only got an Infinite Warfare for Modern Warfare Remastered. That's what a lot of people did. And then they were like, oh yeah, you can't buy Modern Warfare Remastered by itself. And then literally a year later, 2017, they're like, hey, you can now buy Modern Warfare Remastered by itself on Steam. I thought that was so funny. Though, personally, so <laughs> it was kind of a while ago, but for me, I I had a point where I really wanted to replay all the Call of Duty games, like the campaigns, and I still do. Um, so a while ago, I bought a bunch of cheap codes online, and I literally bought Black Ops 1, 2, and 3, Modern Warfare 1, uh, or yeah, Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3, Advanced Warfare, and I don't think I bought Infinite Warfare. But someday, I don't know when, I have no clue when it would possibly be, but I do want to go through each series and just play the campaign. Just straight up campaign, like, experience the story, because I've always enjoyed the campaigns. I've always liked all of the, uh, the cinematics of them and like they i personally have always thought they've been really fun and, and good so one day i would like to when boy i have no idea especially with all these games coming out soon but i would like to um we'll see though Modern warfare 2 is still the best Multiplayer for COD, I think. Possibly COD 4 for campaign. See, that's another thing. So when I played the new campaign, like for this one, really liked it. Absolutely loved it. From my knowledge, I think it was the best one, in my opinion. Especially with the tactical, like how tactical it actually was. Um, my second favorite would definitely be the... Oh, damn. Okay. All right, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna put it at my second, my all-time favorite campaign ever was World at War, and I think I'm gonna have to say that World at War was my favorite Call of Duty ever, also, because I played that game so much. I love the multiplayer in that game too. Now I don't really get whole all into like specifics and mechanics of multiplayer. But I just remember at the time of that game, at playing the campaign for that game and all of that, absolutely loved it. Um, so I'm gonna have to say World at War was my favorite campaign ever, then this one, and then whatever the rest of them, like probably 4 or 2, or Call of Duty 4 2 and all of that. Um, and, uh, World World War Two was pretty good too. 
um world war ii campaign was very very cool i one of the actors the the guy the jewish guy in the campaign was an actor in another show or, or something that i watched i forget what but oh god really wow that was lucky nice long shot um chose not to buy it at launch because xbox and pc were missing survival mode but uh yet still at the same price as ps4 uh, this modern warfare yet I, I know a lot of people are upset about that personally i i mean like totally agree 100 percent. i agree that if you're gonna do that they should have like even dropped the value by like five dollars because if it's literally content like in a year a year dude what is that like a year what kind of nonsense i don't understand how you can justify that but it wasn't over the, um, personally for me, it wasn't over the value of not playing the game at all. So I went with that. Oh dear God, my dude, watch out. So, um, also I, I did actually get it. Well, technically I got it for $53. So I didn't pay full price in a way. Um, I bought my code off of green man gaming. Cause I always buy mine from third parties. So, um, I guess I, that could justify it <laughs> for me almost. Come here, you, ah, oh, damn it. I was going for the, uh, I was going for the finishing move. That guy saved him. Yeah, no, I hear that. See, if I had, if I did have all the money and the time in the world, I would 100% would buy Death Stranding. I wouldn't wait on that game. I would play it first day, uh, and then I would probably just resell it, which I did debate on buying it on Amazon and that as a physical copy. So that way, when, literally like the second I'm done it, I could sell it uh, on eBay or something like that. But instead, I'd rather just, I'd rather just wait. There's too many other good games coming out too at the same time that I'd rather hold off for at this point. And it's just save my money, you know. Games are expensive enough already, so you might as well. You can only play one at a time. So what's the point of buying 25 games and then only playing two? I'm just glad I didn't have to pay for Outer Worlds and then, um, only play like a day of it. I have that through, uh, Game Pass, so that's, that's also very nice. Bro, oh my gosh. Yeah, I started that on my Xbox Game Pass too. Nice. Yeah, dude, I, I love I love that game. I can't wait to jump back into it. I just I've been prioritizing other games over it. Yo, what? Just got a hundred points for that? For blowing up a... I, I cannot wait to hit uh, 
49 so I can get these uh, point man perks instead. Come on, let me use this, the left one. Left. The left. The left. The lid. The lid. The lid. Do you play Apex? Um, typically, no. I do have it. I do play it. But very rare for me. Jeez. Uh, I did go through like a period in time where I was playing it actually a lot. Um, but that was also when like nothing was out at that point. So. It's, uh, I don't, I don't really play, like, a lot of, like, uh, I was gonna say mediocre, but I meant to say, like, um, normal games, I guess. Like, I, I like play, I like going back and playing games that I haven't played in a long time, or, like, trying games that I, I haven't played in, like, a long time. Jeez. Um... I have a backlog of games I'd rat. So here's my, real quick, before I go into like a whole tangent and all this nonsense. Um, my opinion when it comes to like those types of games, like yeah, there's times where they come out with an update and I'm like, okay, I wanna try this. Okay, like this is hot right now, so let me try playing it and stream it or something like that. And that's totally cool. But when I get into re repeatedly playing that for like a week or so, my mind gets to the point where I'm saying, hey, you're playing this right now. Like, yeah, sometimes I'm having fun, some games I'm doing good, but then I'm also like, you know, you could also be playing this game that everybody has critically loved or ha you've heard so many good things about, but you never got to play because it, it just wasn't on your radar at the time. Like, why don't you go play that instead? That's pretty much my mind at those times, and then that's when I'm like, okay, I need to set aside a day and a time where I'm going to start this game, play it, and play it until I finish it. So, that happens often <laughs> for me. I'd, I'd much rather go back and play a game, or experience a game I've never experienced before than um play like a battle royale and like level up in that because i mean like they're cool and all and i absolutely respect them i like them in the times where i want to play them but when i'm not playing them or like when i play them for more than like two or three days that's when i'm like okay i need i need to play something else because now is my time where i could experience that game that i never got to Backlog is ridiculous. The top of my list, Witcher 3, Persona 5, Okami, and Bloodborne, and all of them. Exactly. So, like, did, did you, have you played any of those, or is it all replay? See, the thing for me, I, I've i played Witcher 3. I've always wanted to go back to it. Um, I have it on PC also, but I just haven't actually played it. But it is on my list too. The other thing I try to do too is I try to I try to prioritize games that I've never played. For me, like game, some of my top ones are Firewatch, Stanley Parable. Um, I'm trying to think what other ones, like What Remains of Eden, Finch. Um, Games like that are, are very high on my list because they're so like critically acclaimed and like most positive reviews, like things things like that. Um, walking simulators, I really like. Uh, story games, something like with a twist to it, I really enjoy. So those are pretty high up on my list. Haven't played any of them. Oh, really? 
Wow. Uh, personally, I mean, this is only because I haven't played the other two, but I say Witcher 3. That's also like a 50 hour game easily. So that's up to you. But uh, I, I, I love that game. Also, are, are you Xbox, PlayStation? What do you usually play on? Majority of games. I see another thing I like I like to do series too so like I'll do um, PlayStation okay yeah I guess I should have realized with the whole uh, let's say focus mode Nothing? Nobody? Really? Not a single person? 